Hello and welcome to my channel and I am right now outside to see the moon and that bright star it's not the star but it's the mighty Jupiter and last night I have captured Andromeda right there Andromeda and Triangular Galaxy light right there so today I was planning to capture Orion constellation but cloud, clouds came and you can see the airplane is coming and there's the Mars there's the planet Mars and that's a beautiful airplane going across the sky nice and in this short video I am going to show you mountains on the moon with my smartphone and telescope there's the moon and in this video I am going to shine laser on the moon so let's see how this will look through a telescope so let's get started so right now we have planet Mars there's the red planet Mars you can see slight red slight red color to it and you can make out it's a Mars you can see it's very very bright and here we have clouds that don't allow me to capture Orion constellation and there's the moon and we have Jupiter right there that's bright and this is my green laser and don't shine green lasers on the airplanes and there's the another airplane going across the sky that's beautiful it went behind the trees and now we are going to capture moon so let's try this and this is my self-made telescope with a shiny mirror down there that's epic so right now I have pointed my telescope towards the moon and this light is just to show you my telescope otherwise we hate such stupid lights which spread all over the night sky and make our hobby impossible so stop using such stupid bright party lights on the sky so coming to the point I have pointed my telescope towards the moon and you can see moon with nice craters on my smartphone screen let me focus in for you and there's the moon I will show you the original video from my smartphone in few seconds when we will be pointing my green laser on the moon yes like that so let's try this because we don't have mountains on the moon to show you because it's hiding right there so in the next video I will be showing you mountains on the moon but in this video I am going to show you how I pointed my telescope towards the moon and also my green laser and let's see how it looks yes this is the live view of moon through my smartphone and telescope and there's the north pole of the moon and you can see all the beautiful craters that's epic clouds are moving on the moon and you can see wobbly atmosphere of the earth and right now in this phase of the moon we can't see 
a mountains on the moon because they are hiding right there so in this video i am going to show you something epic which is shining a laser light on the moon so let's try that so this is the south pole of the moon and in the next video i am going to show you uh, mountains on the moon so this time i will show you shining a laser light on the moon so let's try this so let me increase the iso so that the laser light is visible that's epic now you can see the moon very very bright and let's see if the laser is visible with this type of smartphone sensor yes we can see slight rod like features but with a naked eye we can see a rod like features of the laser it looks like a rod green rod i think this smartphone is not that that sensitive to pick up those signals so in my proper video i mean this is just a fun video so in my proper video i am going to connect my telescope to the dslr that will be epic because dslr has more sensitive to this light and we can get a rod like which is visible to naked eye so till then do watch my proper videos this is just a fun video do watch my proper videos and learn astronomy and budget astrophotography so in the next video i am going to point the laser on the moon just like that but by connecting my telescope to dslr till then subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching